I'm sure by now you've already seen iOS 14 and want to download it straight away. So I'll tell you how you can do it in this video and it's pretty easy. Every year Apple shows what the new iOS will look like at WWDC and that is this year iOS 14. And if you're like me, you're impatient and you want to download it straight away right now, day one. So here is how you can do it. On day one, it's usually only available to registered developers, which sounds like bad news, but it's not because anybody can register to be a developer with Apple. And as soon as you register to be that developer with Apple, Apple, that means you get access to iOS 14 instantly straight away. You can either go to the App Store and download the developer app there, or you can sign up online as well. So it's pretty much the same thing. But the one downside to being a registered developer is that you have to pay for it. So it's £79 if you live in the UK or $100 if you live in the US. And that sounds like a lot. I don't think that's probably the best option, but if you want to get it first and the safest way possible, then to register as a developer is the is the way to go. There is a couple of other ways you can get iOS or iPhone OS 14 straight away. And this is a little bit more of a dodgy way, but if Apple release a profile for iOS 14, then a lot of people will put it online. And I remember this happened with iOS 13 or iOS 12, where if you searched it on Twitter, it would be loads of links to websites where you could download and install that profile but from another website. So it wouldn't be direct from Apple. The chances are that most of you will want to download that one because it's the free option and it means you can get iOS 14 straight away and show off and have all the new features before anybody else. But if you're going to download it from a third party website or some random Twitter account, then just be a little bit careful because it's not from Apple. So it means that it might not work on your phone, it might break it, it means that it might not register correctly and you might have to then restore your phone or even worse, it could just break it totally. But that is the way that a lot of people will do it. And I remember I did it a couple of years ago and there was nothing wrong with my phone, but that was me and that was a couple of years ago. So just be careful if you're gonna do it. The other option means that you need to be patient because what you can do is you can actually just register for the public beta. And the public beta means that you're still gonna get iOS 14 pretty early, but you're just not going to get it as early as one of the registered developers. So anybody can sign up to be a public beta tester. All you have to do is if you go on Google and search it, I'll put the link in the description as well. But if you can be patient and wait, then that might be the best way to do it. It still won't be stable, but it means you get to try it out and not have to download it from a dodgy website. It does come out about three or four weeks after the registered developers though. So you might have seen everything already by the time you get your hands on it, but it is the safest way. And and it is free. I'm sat here thinking I'll probably try and get the free version because I don't want to pay £79 for it. But then again, it's quite a costly mistake if you put it on your iPhone 11 Pro and it, and it breaks it. If you want to know anything about it, just comment below and I'll get back to you. If the video helped you, then give a sub to the channel because that really helps and drop a like as well. And until next time, see you later.